Happy weekend to all you cowgirls, cowboys, cowpokes out there. And of course, happy Easter to everybody that celebrates Easter. Hopefully the uh, wabbit brought you some nice eggs and candy. Today, we continue Red Dead Redemption 2 five years later with Mr. Marston on the PS5. UG Outlaw, Belfast Gamer. Howdy, guys. How's it going? Hope you're all doing well. So, yeah, it obviously is Easter for everybody that celebrates Easter or Passover. You know, I hope you're having a happy time with your family, friends, loved ones. Today, we are going into the epilogue. Well, we're continuing the epilogue of Red Dead Redemption 2 with John Marston. I mean, uh, Jim Milton. <laughs> As you can tell, the final form of the wall for March 2024. And yeah, I managed to somehow cram all the gifted members on the wall. So thanks to uh, UG, Kane, and, and Fern for all the gifted members for the uh, 10th anniversary stream a few weeks ago. Yeah, thank you. Very cool. So I, I managed to somehow do it. <laughs> it works. It's better than nothing, as promised. You know, I include the junior members and also the gifted members at the end of the month on the wall. Not bad except for daylight savings. Well, it fucked me up like two or three weeks ago. So it was your turn, UG. Your turn, like Ireland's turn, North Ireland's turn, uh, the rest of the UK's turn, and everyone else that now had to endure daylight savings. Yeah, daylight savings sucks. Right, we'll get an hour back in the fall. Thanks. So yeah, we got uh, to play through. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna get through part one of the epilogue today, and then next weekend will be the finale of Red Dead Redemption Two. Five years later, we'll, we'll knock out part two of the epilogue. What do y'all think? Do y'all like that idea? Uh, by the way, March twenty twenty four vlog has already been posted. Riley and I recorded it yesterday afternoon because I didn't know how long we were gonna go on for today. And uh, we already had a list of everything we were going to talk about in the vlog, so we decided just to record it last night after we got home from my nephew's birthday party. So it's already up over on the vlogs channel, link below in the description section, pinned in the live chat, FYI. And uh, once again, big thank you to all of you, my amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods, as well as all you cowgirls, cowboys, cowpokes have been watching the five years later playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, this month has also been the uh, 10 year anniversary of the channel, 10 years later, which we've been celebrating. So thank you to the uh, Super Chat heroes from March 2024. They all got the OG GB logo from 10 years ago when I launched this thing back in 2014. Hard to believe it's been 10 years. And uh, hopefully, It'll be another 10 years. <laughs> well, we'll just have to wait and see. But I appreciate y'all being along for the ride so far. Hopefully it keeps going. So big thank you once again to all the Super Chat heroes from March 2024 and beyond. As well as all of the members. By the way, if you want to learn more about the membership program, click the join button. Unique badges, emojis, shout outs at the beginning of live streams. All members included below in the description section of live streams. Members get early access to a video, including tomorrow's video, and they get featured on the About section of the channel, along with the Vlogs channel, so the link to the Vlogs channel, as well as links to the GB Nation Discord community over in the About section as well. Plus, there are benefits specifically for Elite members, Junior members, Deluxe members. So if you want to learn more about that, click the Join button. So let's go over it. All the members, the elite members, two of them in the chat, two of my buds, my homies, my compadres, my amigos, my mites, good guys, Belfast Gamer, UG Outlaw, as well as Latino Bunny, Fat Chinese Gaming, Angry Veteran Forge, Deluxe Members, Agilin, ACG, Red the Abit Dinosaur, Dark Matter Wolf, Junior Members, Tokyo Temp, Hutch Plays, Brett, Kane, Icarus, Fernando Martinez, Tyler98735, Tommy Angelo Jr., Sinistar, Eric Bell, Fluffy Wolf. All right, I need to drink a water before I go over the gifted members. By the way, thank you, UG, Kane, and Fern. Mm. 
Okay, now let's go over the gifted members. Mr. Grumpy Wombat, Lewis, Sinister RC, John Lawl, Snake, Proton Jack, UK Gamer, Number One Pinhead, Aaron, Stellar, RR, Miss Kentucky Girl, Chantel, 1070, Ghost Dragon, 2070, JM58, Jeremy's World, Izuku, Mr. Tay Daniel, Anne's Human, Jose Melendez, Maddie, Ben, King Easy, Kari, and Venge. Gifted members, junior members, deluxe members, elite members, and March 2024 Super Chat Heroes going above and beyond for the GB Nation. All right, let's go. You're welcome. Love you too, buddy. <laughs> Belfast to see you saw the new Ghostbusters okay not as good as Afterlife that's not exact oh Rockstar stop it I'm trying to talk yeah I'm gonna eventually watch Frozen Empire I was gonna watch it this past week but things came up we weren't able to go watch Frozen Empire but maybe this week Riley and I will get a day to go watch but she's obviously busy in flight school so that's the other thing you know she's got real life stuff going on by the way we do talk about flight school in the March 2024 vlog, in case anyone's interested. But without further ado, let's get back to Red Dead Redemption 2, five years later in the epilogue with Mr. Marston. All right, so what's everybody up to this weekend? Did the uh, Easter Bunny bring y'all anything? Any, any eggs, any candy, any chocolates? For those of you that celebrate Easter. I know Easter's not about that. I, I know. For somebody starts typing and explaining to me why people celebrate Easter. I know. I, I once celebrated, I guess. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah. Maybe this week I'll go watch Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Because I do want to do a Ghostbusters video. on. I know I've done a Ghostbusters Let's Play of Ghostbusters the video game. There's a playlist. But I'm also interested in doing a, I guess, a review slash tier list, a review of Frozen Empire, and I'll also combine it with a tier list, like ranking it along with all the other Ghostbusters stuff. Uh, spoilers, uh, the original Ghostbusters movie is easily S tier. It's at the top. Uh, you're giving uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom a try. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is amazing. Ooh, I, I can get the... I only have $11, though. <laughs> Lame. No, I only have 11 bucks. I could, I could get the Rose Gray Arabian and give Galaxy Traveler a new form. But I only have 11 bucks. But wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, we still have Arthur Satchel. All right, so this is all the items that... So Mary's Ring, of course, John has plans for Mary's Ring. And these are a few items I think that I uh, have to hold on to, I think. I, I did have... Arthur did have more, but... I, I think the best way to answer the question, like what happens to the, whatever money you had is Arthur. Well, John gets it, but you know, over time, obviously him and Abigail had to spend that money. So that $5,000, you know, it had to go towards him, Abigail and Jack surviving, you know, post uh, chapter six. So logically it makes sense for the money to no longer exist because they, they would have needed it to survive. What do y'all, what do y'all think of that explanation? Just had family dinner. What was family dinner? What'd you have for dinner? I think Riley's going to make skirt steak with some beans and rice later. But let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? We got, we got work to do, Mr. Marston. It's honest work. There we go. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes. This is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens, go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> I 
Uh, Rose Chick was stuffing. Nice. That sounds good. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no. Sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Mrs. Milton. Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. And that's why people don't like Abigail. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. Exactly, UG. He didn't even let Abigail explain what happened. And he... getting my wagon back. That's all. Yeah. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellas. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Yeah. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, it's time to milk some cows, just like Rockstar does with GTA Online. <laughs> to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking most of them drifted off okay you fine with milking you know I ain't really done much of it could never never really get the hang of it you serious mister sure it's Jim Jim Milton hey sit down I'll show you how approach her calm now she don't take too kindly to surprises no surprises, Mr. Milton. You're about to say that? Yeah. Well, I'm sure they explained to Abigail on the ride to Strawberry what happened. So she knows what happened. She knows that the wagon was about to be stolen off all the goods. And John stepped in to, to save the wagon and stop the, the hired guns. But just like you say, Yuji, you can never please that woman. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's true. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy? Milking takes a little bit longer than that if you're doing it by hand, by the way, but uh video games. It doesn't fill the bucket up that fast, believe me. Imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, 
It ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I just don't get why Abigail always has to get on his case for. It's not like he started the fight. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. You think she'll be glad that he's okay? Try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. This is Abigail just nag, nag, nag. Yeah, that's all she does is nag. It's so tiresome. I mean, there's things I, there's things I obviously like about Abigail, but her just a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. He probably doesn't even remember that. It's just like my nephew. My nephew's just one of my nephews. My oldest nephew turned four yesterday, and you know I got him a really cool like Star Wars action figure, Din Djarin, the Mandalorian. Do you think he's going to remember that? No. He'll play of it. Be careful. He'll probably do what kids do, you know, and like play of it in the dirt. Pew, pew, pew. You know, just pretending to be uh, the Mandalorian. And he'll, he'll bang it up. He'll destroy it. But he probably won't remember the gift. Let's scoop it up. Yeah, let's scoop up that GT Online content. Nah, more more GTA Online content for the summer. Dogs there we go. Yeah. All right, all right, here's the uh, next update for GTA Online. Even your mother would say I gotta put it away for a while. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Yeah, let's go get yelled at by Abigail. But you think she'd be a little bit grateful? Like, yeah, I understand. I don't. I don't like the fact you had, you did that, John. But I get it. I understand they were trying to steal the wagon and all the supplies from the ranch, and so John had no choice but to step up, you know. And by stepping up, not only did John get the wagon back, it also secured them a place here at the ranch. Okay. So uh, yeah, you're welcome, Abigail. All right, let's go get yelled at. It's always good times. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Be a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Look at that look on her face. Just, what is that look? She must be really good in the sack. I'm just, I, look, everyone else was thinking it. I'm just saying what other people are thinking. Hashtag cancel GB. Not well. Ooh, I earned three dollars. <laughs> That's fine living. <laughs> I, I can't wait, you know, I mean. Give it like if it's thirty three dollars a day, man. That that's what maybe like nearly a thousand dollars a year. I mean that's a salary right there. All right, so let's uh should we go over here first? I guess we we'll go over here first. Man, nothing like a good hard day's work. Yeah, I I know her backstory, but they kind of. They don't really allude to her backstory too much in Red Dead Redemption 2 as they do in I thought I said I don't rightly know Mr. Getty sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? 
Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Somebody's lining up to be employee of the month. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. It's you showed up. Runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. I better get two. Thanks, kid. All right. Let's go over here and see Jeremiah. Bet John misses Robin. Yeah, robbing. Yeah, high risk, right? But it definitely paid better. But yeah, I think it's kind of alluded to in the camp. She'll mention a few things. Alluding to the fact that she used to prostitute herself for... And I understand. I mean, she she probably didn't do it by choice. Jim Milton. Hey. You to hang with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yeah. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Easy. All right. Let's calm down, Jeremiah. Calm down, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. There Can't we you go. Teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you. I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. Don't take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Who's a good boy? Hey. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I mean... Like, during that time period, I'm sure the majority of women that were working girls, a lot of them didn't really do it because they really wanted to. It was the only way they could, you know, survive and make a living. And I'm sure that's probably the case for Abigail, you know? But they, they obviously, they kind of, they don't really talk about it as much in Red Dead Redemption 2 as in Red Dead Redemption 1. But I think a few times in the camp, it is alluded to if you hear conversations with Abigail and other people. But what what Dutch says about Abigail, I don't think we can really believe Dutch in Red Dead Redemption 1 when he's basically talking about how Abigail slept with everybody. I don't believe that. What do y'all think? Do y'all do y'all believe Dutch when it comes to that or do you think he was just doing that just to try and push John's buttons? Thing about this horse is this horse got a lot of stam. Come on, come on, Jeremiah. 
You, you think it's 50-50? Well, I feel like I feel like Dutch is an unreliable uh, source because at the time we run into Dutch, he's in Red Dead Redemption One. He's obviously crazy, and he's probably saying what he's saying as a half truth. But he's going a little bit further, trying to get a rile out of John, trying to piss John off. So that John would do something stupid, which John fortunately doesn't do. Alright, where is where is the boy? Duncan Hey Duncan, I got your horse calm down. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I did not mean to do that. Oof. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Hey, what's up, Fire? How's it going? Keep calm. Heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Good job, Duncan. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there ain't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... but... Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, just worry about the horse, Duncan. <laughs> I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. That is a nice horse. I will say that. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. Well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. But don't put him down. He's still doing pretty well. Oh, you mean let him rest. Okay. I thought John meant something else. All right, so here's Miss Geddes. Got to help her out. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. All right. Find the legs. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Grip them. A little more. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton... Feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, <laughs> too busy for social calls. Of course. Good wow. Day, Mr. Milton. 
Wow. Hey, what's up, Dark Matter Wolf? How you doing? Yeah, she was one. She was one a social call. It, it's so weird though. It's like she has some sense of morality. I think that's the reason why they have a policy about no married hands. It's like when Mr. Gettys is going out of back to Strawberry to play. Like she likes to have fun too with some of the ranch hands. And uh, I, I guess she has some sort of morality where she doesn't want to end up having fun with a married man. Not saying that John would, would because as we well know, I'm a happily married man. He says it like a bazillion times in Red Dead Redemption 1. But there's plenty of other married men like uh, Mr. Gettys that, well, they don't exactly follow that uh, oath. Which is really weird, you know, because if they're both... If they're both trying to get a little something on the side, you think they'd just keep hooking up with each other, right? I don't know. That's just... It's obvious it's not the best marriage. But whatever. Maybe it's just something they're both into. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which... By the way, Dickens sees clean through John. us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on, please. For me. For him. How's he been? Been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Nah. Right. Round right to the left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. All right. Okay. Let's go. Off we go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? <laughs> no. You're... Stay calm. We just Maybe left. We should go riding. Aside from home. I don't know. But... Maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. This is a really, really nice part of the map. Just act confident, okay? Uh huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. All right. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... Yeah, definitely one of the nice parts of... Uh... See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. There we go. No, I know. We're not going to... I think he's going fast enough. He's fine. This is good. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Hey, what's up, Fat? How's it going? Uh, Jim Milton and Lancelot are just going for a lovely uh, trot around Big Valley. Hopefully everyone's having a good weekend. Well, Jack is growing up, you know, and he's getting a little bit older. And, like, Jack and John have never had the easiest relationship, but John does try. I'm getting there. I should hope so. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't feel like the need to speed up Jack any further. This is fine. He still has a ways to go before he sets off for revenge. But he'll get there eventually. Till then, you have to work on the line, Jack. Work it, dang nag! It was awesome. Cool. Okay. Let's go across to the street. Yes, sir. Oh shit! All right. All right. Yeah, let's just follow Jack. Yeah, it is beautiful. This game is still amazing over five years later. It still looks great. Oh no! Come on, let's let's beat them. Are you still back there? Obviously, most people let Jack win this race because it's something that that a father would let a son do. I'm winning. Yeah, you're winning, son. Good job. A real father would do this, you know. A real father wouldn't be trying to kick their son's butt here. He would. Plus, he wants to make sure the son isn't like. Hey, come back here. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, come on, come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. You can catch me. That's it. I don't know. My horse slowed down. What the devil? Yeah, it is a good camp. It's one of my favorite locations in Red Dead. Well, in Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online. Like, if I ever, if I ever had a son or a daughter, yeah, obviously I think I would do something like this, you know. Because, come on, it's your kid, you know. You want to encourage them. I beat you. I beat you. I well beat you. Well son. <laughs> I beat you. You did? Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Say, John could have easily beat his son right there in the race. I mean, John was on a faster horse, and John's way more experienced, obviously, but, you know, it's what a dad does, you know? That's okay. I already had some coffee. I'm having tea now, I'm Abigail. To work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. But Jack already knows this. Why would he ask that? Okay, Pa. See you later. Chief, make their children earn everything. There's, there's a balance. You know, there's things that you want your kid to earn. But there, there's also times when, you know, you got to let the kid win, you know? Well, we hope you're having a good weekend, Chief, and everyone else. But, I mean, at a certain point when they get older, obviously, you're, like, if Jack was older, like in, say, Red Dead Redemption 1, and him and John raced, then I would say John would, it would be obvious that John would want to, put more effort into trying to win the race against Jack because Jack is in his teens at that point, you know, and a far, far more able horse rider. But right now, he's still just a kid. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. 
Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. It sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. I think technically, like, if you go by the Obi-Wan definition of truth, he's telling Mr. Dickens the truth from a certain point of view. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Pounded in there. We don't want it coming down. He's not telling him the exact truth, but a truth in its own way. Grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. All right, here we go. Position it. Now, lift up the other side. They got to line up, see? Yep, lift it, lift, lift, lift it. Game, let me lift it. Thank you. I don't know what that was about. There we go. It's a good workout right here. All right. Good. Next one. Makes it seem a lot easier in the video game. Okay, lower it. Okay. Lower and place. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. Pound it in. Teach. I hope you've grasped the basics. Yeah, I got the basics. Matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. All right, don't don't worry. Counting sections when you're done. Okay. All right. Teach them well, also teach them to earn everything. Well, yeah, I I get that. I totally do. But they were just riding for fun though. And so it was okay for John to let Jack win that race. But I do I do understand and agree with your point. All right, let's go get over there. Oh shit! Quick as you can. Come on, son. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim I know Milton. How it feels. Mr. Milton, Angus Come on. is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. <laughs> Come on, just cal calming down. Well, that was dumb. Why did you hit him like that? Alright. Alright. Come here. Come here, bull. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Son of a... Er, that throw was not long enough. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. We're going for a little ride. Come on, bull. Stop it. Calm, calm down, bull. We'll find you some nice cows, okay? Man. This guy's not happy. Ah! Yeah, this... It'd be, uh, that would be what we would call a serious injury. One you might not be getting up from. Calm, calm, calm down. Calm down, big guy. Calm down. Just calm down, big guy. Um... Uh, yeah, I guess you could say it's technically my fourth time playing the main story. I mean, if we count the Black Hat series, I mean, I haven't even finished the Black Hat series. So, I don't know if we... Do we really count that one? Because it's more like me just 
causing chaos and mayhem and destruction. So maybe three times. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Well, we survived that. Uh, we got to go deal with these Laramie boys. Game gets dealt to the second time. I disagree with that. But it also depends on the amount of time that happens between your playthroughs. So I've kind of spaced out my playthroughs. All right. It's not very nice. If you want to watch your mouth, boy, you will be the first one we kill. Yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? No, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! oh, get him, get him. All right, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna test something. Okay, maybe I can't do that. All right. Now I think Stephen Ogg unofficially voices this character. There we go. Yeah, I agree, Chief. The game has not gotten still. I mean, if you played it like back to back and back to back, then I, I could see it kind of getting still. But if you pace yourself and... Yeah. But it's your fault, John. Just remember, it's your fault. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a god. Of course, she's mad at him. What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. His, mo his voice sounds nothing like Micah. The voices sound completely different. What's my ethnicity? I'm a mutt. Just like most people are mutts. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. In fact, I did a DNA test not too long ago, and apparently I'm 2% Neanderthal. Kind of strange, but... Uh-oh. Me. All right, let's go talk to the boss real quick. But we're all humans at the end of the day. And if you go back far enough, you'll find a little bit of something, something here, and a little bit of something, something there. Like if you go back in your family tree far enough back. Ah, oh, stepped in crap. <laughs> I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. 
better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. What a delightful dinner. Uh, no, no, I'm good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, <laughs> you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Now, chronologically, I think we should have played the other mission first. Good night, Paul. I think the other mission we should have played it first, but the fact that you hear the Gettys talking right there, I guess it kind of compels you to do their mission first. Plus, the Gettys are your employees. Employers. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. All right. All right. Teach these bastards a lesson. You know that often it just went down. I lost my wind. Freaking Laramie boys. You're a freaking joke, Laramie boys. The Driscolls were more intimidated than you, chumps. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. Who's Mr. Tolbert? Been okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, uh, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns. Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. <clears throat> Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We I What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Well, he's right. This is technically his job. I mean, as a ranch hand, you're supposed to protect the ranch. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. But the Laramie boys are a joke compared to the Driscolls. And the Driscolls were kind of a joke too. I like this mission. This is when this is when it kicks off. Exactly. That's what I like about Mr. Gaddis. He doesn't judge John. He doesn't care what, about John's past. He believes in second chances. Plus, I like the music here. Where are you off to? Fuck, 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 fuck. Alright, let's get over here. Alright. Okay. If you say so. All right, let's go do this. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe. You're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Here we go. Here comes the theme. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle, and to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just... Yep, music's going off. Bam. 
Yeah, we well, tried. God, I love this thing. Push in, push in. Hey, Dad. Boom. Man, this music's great. Let's see what gun this is. There's like two guns that were laying around. Uh, I'll, I'll, give, give me the Litchfield. Alright, got the Litchfield. Of course, obviously, Abigail is going to be upset about this because. Uh, actually, Lancaster. Just give me back the Lancaster. Alright, just give me that back. Thank you. At least I added it to the inventory by doing that, so I'll take it. So let's get back down. Um, there was another gun, I think. I think it was... Was it over here? Yeah, it was over here. Okay. What is it? Pump action? Uh, yeah, give me that. Yeah, switch the... Well, switch it out, game. There we go. I'd rather have a pump action anyways. Alright, let's go in. And I think there's one more gun in here. Along with, uh, hey. totally not Steven Ogg. Uh, the Bubble Daryl. Yeah, we'll take the Bubble Daryl because we're going to need it for this uh, scene. Where are you at? Ah, uh, there he is. Yeah, but I think this is Steven Ogg, but I think he's just uncredited. I could be wrong, but I've always... A lot of people believe that this is Stephen Ogg. Right. Beat the crap out of him. God damn it. There we go. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheet dip, get the stink of you off of her, farmhand. That's enough out of you. Alright. 
Yeah, let's loot his body. I'm gonna go upstairs and see what that gun is. Then we'll be on our way. Right. Ooh, 61 cents. That's some snake oil. Like, alright. Let me go back up here real quick. Because yeah, there's another weapon up here. Alright, let's go grab this real quick. It is a nice night, though. Nice night for a shooting. What do we got here? Uh, Springfield? Alright, I'll grab it. Alright, let's go. Always good to add to John's arsenal. Yeah, the music is great. Alright. Now we can leave John. I'm sure Abigail will be totally understanding. Most likely not. <laughs> what else is new? We're not going to loot. We're just going to leave. Fuck it. I'm sure we could loot. But, uh, it's time to loot when, when you have a wife to yell at you. Yeah. You know, I do compliment the Skybox still in Red Dead Redemption 1, but yeah, the Skybox in Red Dead Redemption 2 at night is also amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to check out the Skyboxes in GTA 6. I love me a good Skybox in an open world game, I tell you what. The best sky boxes are the ones you don't really actually notice until you notice them. When a sky box is bad, oh yeah, you'll notice a bad sky box. Alright. 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 Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Yep. Uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you! Oh, you! <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. At least somebody's appreciative. And then somebody's all angry. Like, look at that. Look. She's so fucking angry. God. What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Ah, Abigail. You think she would be happy that he came back? You know? Like, oh, I was... But just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. All right, well, we got that one done. All right, I'm going to be right back. I won't be gone too long, hopefully. But I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. And if you are, I would greatly appreciate a like, if you don't mind. And uh, I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. But I hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far. We're going to play through part one of the epilogue. And then we'll most likely stop at the end of part one, at the beginning of part two. And then next Sunday, we'll wrap it up with part two. So, yeah, that's that's the Planderlin. But, yeah, I just, I don't get why Abigail's always so angry with John. It's just, sometimes she could be a little bit more supportive. I know she does. She There are definitely times when she is more supportive. But... Like, right now, you know, John is actually trying Abigail. Like, if Abigail had it her way, we would just roll over and just take it from everybody. Like, I, I just, like, Abigail, the problem with her, I guess, with, with what she wants, isn't very realistic. It's just not. If John was to do exactly what Abigail said then where would they be right now? A lot worse off. The wagon would have been stolen. He probably wouldn't have got a job at the ranch because the supplies would have also been stolen and he would have lost that job at the uh, store in Strawberry. It's, it's just, you can't win for losing when it comes to Abigail. Just a sad reality. Oh, another thing I thought about a moment ago is that the fact that John dual wields. I don't know. Do y'all think that John should be allowed to dual wield in the epilogue? Or do you think he should only be allowed to use one pistol or revolver? Because he's, he only uses one pistol and revolver in Red Dead Redemption 1. I don't know. I, I feel like that maybe they should have changed it to where John doesn't dual wield. That would have made it. I would have made his character a little bit more unique, I guess, to Arthur. Uh, UJ says it's annoying that John is doing everything he can for her and Jack, and she's still pissing and moaning. I agree. I mean, John's not perfect. He makes mistakes, but at least he's trying. He's trying to be a ranch hand. It's like this kind of stuff does did happen, you know, where ranch hands, you know, they had the day-to-day -day jobs of, you know, farming and, ranching and building stuff and shoveling shit and milking cows but they also had to protect the property from coyotes and bandits that was also part of the job description surviving i think here i'll get you some coffee i better be colombian the only thing i know how to do is well, you know undertakers like me cattle not so much that ain't true ain't no rancher Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Well, at least she admits that. Milton. Well, she she can't read Jack's reading. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other's in mine. Only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mind. He's only a uh, boy. Fat, please don't do the uwu. Please, please stop. Save the and, uh, real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. And Left Baffled. What's up, Left? How's it going? Yeah, I agree. John should stick with one revolver. Maybe for the rest of the playthrough, I'll intentionally only have him use one revolver. 
What do y'all think? I agree. Yeah, Abigail was wrong. They had no choice but to defend the ranch. I mean, you're living there now. Your life, your lives depend on the success of the ranch. Here, want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, what do I do? Well, just hold them and. Pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here. Try it out. Yeah, that's fine. We'll let him drive. That's fine by me. Sometimes I feel bad for John. I... Yeah, Abigail's far from perfect, you know. And just so is John, but... Sometimes I feel like Abigail's a little too hard on John. If John didn't defend it, she would still complain. Of course, of course she would have complained. And everybody at the ranch would have lost... One person got killed, and they lost their cattle, and without the cattle, well, what's the point of the ranch, you know? Well, we'll see. Don't go crazy now. Oh shit. Why are you plaguing me so? Alright. Meanwhile, and strawberry. You alright, son? Sure. But cheer up a little. Oh. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hey, what's up, Tommy Angelo Jr.? Hope you're having a great weekend as well. All right. Hi, I'm here. To name? M My name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. See, this is Abigail's fault. John Marston. Why would she do this? Why would she do something this stupid? Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail, Abigail Roberts. Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes. Uh, oh, or uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's, uh... Mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pop? Sure. I hope so, at least. Yeah, Abigail kind of screwed that part. A little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah, I, I know that I know that Mr. Dickens was there, but Mr. Dickens pretty much is aware of the fact that they So wait. We come all the way out here and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you wanna go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? 
We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. That's I'm it. My father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. The end of the, the last scene brought a tear to your eye. Well, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the point. It was an emotional ending in Chapter 6. If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. A saloon you go? Okay, have fun at the saloon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get it. She was trying to be... She was trying to be, I guess, cryptic with John because Dickens happened to be there. But at the same time, she did kind of screw that one up. But here's the thing. She goes to town too, right? To work. She could have just, she could have just gone to town and picked it up. Sir, was that a question for me? No, no, keep driving. Like she could have just picked it up next time she was in Strawberry. She didn't have to put John in this situation, right? Wish she had a role to get... A roll together ending? Why? That's not very realistic, and that's that kind of defeats the point of the series of Red Dead Redemption 2. Arthur gets to have a, a heroic ending, you know? He gets to be a tragic hero. He gets redemption by saving others, including John and his family, along with uh, Tilly and Sadie and a, a few others. Yeah, it's still John's fault, obviously. I, I agree entirely. No matter what, it, it's John's fault. And, and What's wrong, Pop? Nothing. Nothing's wrong, just nice and slow. Even though we're being followed. Yeah, and, okay. and try not to take us off. See, I'm not having John speed up. Of course, we're being followed. Yeah. But once again, this is going to be John's fault. Just don't forget that. And even if you try to defuse this situation, it still doesn't matter. Come on. You still have to kill these assholes. Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? Do you sure look like him? Say, if you try to defuse it, it doesn't matter. But I'll do it anyways. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I see the resemblance. <laughs> They're goddamn morons. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. <laughs> Does it matter? It's at the end, you're like, yeah, I see the resemblance. <laughs> Even if you try to defuse it, it doesn't fucking matter, you know? Come on, get up. Which is fine. I just wanted to. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Compose yourself. You killed them, Bob. 
son. I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. So, in that situation, it didn't matter if you defused it or it was just straight up antagonizing him. I just figured at the very end, fuck it, I'm just going to antagonize his ass because he's going to try and kill me anyways. The only thing you really get is options for the dialogue. That's all there really is to it. Because the same outcome occurs no matter what. Abigail still gets pissed off and takes John and runs off to whoever knows where. Like, where do y'all think Abigail's going to end up running off to? Maybe that doctor in Strawberry? Very eventful. Yeah, there's just no way to defuse it. You have to kill him no matter what. How is the What happened? Yeah. It's I don't We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed and then we... followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. We didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. I... It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Now she made him feel bad. Yeah, she needs to have a checkup. Because cause we really don't know where she goes. They, they never explain where she Mr. goes. Jim. Hey, uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That would be nice. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. All right, let's go talk to the telegram man. I do like how I, the way I did it, I tried to defuse it twice. And then the last time I was like, oh, fuck it. You know, fuck you. Yeah, fuck your brother. I see the resemblance. <laughs> Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Uh, let's go talk to Abigail. She's totally, she totally hasn't taken Jack and ran off to who knows where. All right. Abigail. Doof. Darling John, 
A kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. Jeez. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. It's like... She's acting like he's out drinking and fornicating and not doing a damn thing, you know? That's the part that really makes me... Like, like what? Like, he's, he's trying here. You know, shit happens. So, yay, she got him a shirt. Nice shirt. Mm. It's like it's never good enough. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? We hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting, unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done, unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. Reminds you of your ex. Work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Alright, we got work to do. Yeah. But. Oh well. Mark's got to get done. Huh. So what's everybody up to this week? Anything interesting going on? By the way, the March 2024 vlog is officially up if y'all want to go check it out. Find out what Riley and I have been up to. She's started fly school officially. So there you go. March 2024 vlog. It's uh, in the uh, description section and pinned in the live chat. Let's milk some cows. Get some of that organic milk. Ah, more GTA Online content. Cars and coffee, sadly. The RTX is having issues. That sucks. There we go. We're building a farm. Doing farm stuff, being a farm man, a ranch hand. It's honest work. There we go. Hopefully, are you finally gonna get fiber internet? Nice, fiber internet's amazing. Like, I have no complaints about fiber internet. I've had it for almost a year now. This is the life. John just enjoying the ranch, being a ranch hand. Maybe he pays visits to Mrs. Getty's every now and then. What do y'all think? This is where he should have stayed a few months later. See, Abigail's been gone for a quick minute. He should work for Mr. Top Hat. Top Ham Hat. Who? Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Yeah. 
Like, where did Abigail go? She's been gone for months. They never answer that. Uh, well, to be fair, I, I never really watched Thomas the Tank Engine, so I that one's whoosh, went right over my head. I know that's not hard because I'm not exactly a tall boy. I'm a short king. Let's go talk to Mr. Geddes. But, you know, some explanation would be nice. You know, where did you go, Abigail? Did you go hang out with Mary Beth or Tilly? Or the, the doctor in Strawberry? No explanation, you know. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Experience I think every man can relate to. Yep. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Do hmm? you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. <laughs> I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. When I played this, Abigail left. I said, okay, bye. Went to Valentine, had a bath. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, looking up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. I think we'll do that when we go see Sadie. All right, time to go for a nice ride. See, series all right. I wish they had realistic models for characters, real life. All right. Yay, we're listening to some Willie Nelson. So, I'm so excited to get copyright claimed again. Thank you. Very cool. Well, that's fine. So, we'll, we'll go to Valentine first. I could see, you know, part of John just wanting to say screw it and just take Getty's advice and ride off. He only has $20, though. Like... You think over the past few months he would have he would have more than twenty dollars. I mean, especially if he's earning what three dollars a day. That's like way more than twenty dollars. Let's just say ninety bucks a month, right? So that's what one eighty, at least one eighty two hundred dollars that John should have in his pocket right now, not twenty bucks. And why would John ask about the damn bull months later? Sometimes, like, I think the writing in this game is really good, but sometimes 
the the time jumps don't feel proper. But like, yeah, the moment you get to this point, John should have like at least two hundred dollars in his name from the work he's been doing for the Gettys. Like, what is he spending the money on? Like, he doesn't go spend it on women because he's a quote unquote happily married man. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, he's, he's spent all his time up at the ranch, right? Whatever. Hey, what's up, Bounty? Uh, thanks for, for dropping by. Hope you're having a good time with your family. And I appreciate the like. I hope you're having a good day. Along with everybody else. But yeah, before we go to the Great Plains, we'll go see Sadie. Oof. Alright. Oh, so I still have Arthur's uh, pistol. Okay. Yeah, how can you set it to where he's not dual wielding anymore? Let's see. I can't I can't disable that. Well I'm not gonna use the the pistols. I'm just gonna use Swiss John's. There. Yeah, I guess I'll do that for now. Alright. Alright. On our way to Valentine. Up we go. Yeah, I don't know when I'm going to play this game again, to be honest. I guess that's why I'm not really trying to rush through the epilogues. It's because once we're done with this, you know, next week. Is it still called the Downs Farm or did they change the name? Is it? Yeah, why would it still be called Downs Ranch? You think it'd be called something else? Because it's been a quick minute since Downs on the, the ranch. But whatever. Alright. On our way to Valentine. Nice little trot. Yeah, it was nice coming back to this game, though. And I, I personally like the epilogue. I know some people don't care for it. But I guess if, you, if you're a Red Dead Redemption 1 fan, then obviously you'll like it. But if Red Dead Redemption 2 is the first game you play, then you, you may not care as much for the epilogue. But I personally like having some more time with, with Marston. That's just how I feel, though. The only problem is going to va going to this the uh, bar, the saloon, means that I have to initiate the the cutscene instead of first and foremost. Well, there's there's a uh, Sadie's new horse. Uh, I guess park it over here. There's the sheriff. I think that's the sheriff. Sheriff. Morning. Yep, that's the sheriff. All right, let me see if I can get the. Can I get the right weapon here? Let me look. All right, let's browse the catalog. Yeah, let's have a look in here quickly. Now, I don't have enough money at the moment, but eventually I would like to get Johnny a new pist new revolver. All right, so I guess uh, he doesn't sell the particular revolver I want to get him. The Lamont. Yeah, never mind. Worth a shot. Yeah, it was. Maybe it's, I think, it, is it the gunsmith in Blackwater? 
Maybe. Is there a gunsmith in Blackwater? I think there is. <laughs> well, I know there is in Red Dead Redemption 1, but, eh, whatever. Alright, let's go in and say hi to Sadie. With you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What is that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. John Marston. It's good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Features Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? You know how it is. Bounties mostly, and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, well, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. Hey, what's up, Snake? How's it going? Where <laughs> Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What do you do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pen. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Yeah, well, we just came from Strawberry, basically. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him the... About a year back? Okay. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Hey, what's up, Red? How's it going? Hope you're all having a good weekend, and happy Easter to everybody that's celebrating Easter today. We're playing through the epilogue of Red Dead Redemption 2. Lazing about past two days, dreading the upcoming garbage bill next week. A garage bill? Okay. What's that all about, Snake? Meanwhile, back in Strawberry. What's it to be? All right, see what you can find. Like I said, the fellow's name is Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. You hit him that way. I'll meet you in a bit. All right, we've got to be friendly. We're looking for a banker. Your front suspension is broken? That sucks. Well, I'm sorry about that, Snake. Did it just break or did you hit a pothole or something? Or is it just you've had the vehicle for a quick minute and it's just standard wear and tear? All right, let's go up here into the welcome center. Seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s -s 
sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. Yeah. How exciting. Yeah. The government. All right, up we go. Hey, what's up, Stellar? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. All right. Mr. Kirk. Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Stop. Hey, that's Nathan Kirk. All right, let's go get him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. All right. Mr. Kirk, you've been a you've been a very naughty accountant. This is going to really hurt your Yelp scores going forward. As well as your referrals if you're looking for new clients and customers. But I think that's the least of your problems right now, Mr. Kirk. You know, your descendant would not be proud of you. He ends up being a starship captain. But but you, Mr. Kirk, you're probably going for a voyage into the final frontier on a rope. <laughs> That wasn't very nice, Mr. Kirk. You startled them sheepies. I'm an man. Then why are you running? This is you sweat, girl. Come on. My horse is... All right. Hello, Mr. Kirk. I don't deserve this treatment. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. Sure there is. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. But I thought she's usually at the saloon in Valentine. Like, you can't be at two places in once, Sadie. Unless it's a video game. Abigail reminds you of John... Okay, Tommy... Look, we may have our criticisms of Abigail, but she's nowhere near as bad as Ashley. Ashley's like a thousand times worse than Abigail. No contact Frank Vinci? Okay. That'll be a neat trick. I don't even think Frank Vinci's alive yet. I mean, he's a pretty old guy, so maybe... You know, it is possible that maybe he's, he's a young man right now. Maybe. I mean, this is... What, 1907? You know, Vinci... No, Vinci could be alive. I mean, by 1950, he's in, what, his 60s? So he'd be about, what, 10? 10, 11? Something like that. So it's it's possible. Oh yeah, that, that's just a bad comparison. I don't care what this guy's. No, I'm not. That's fine. 
Good luck finding your gold, mister. Probably better luck than finding some crypto. Frank was born before 1899. See, yeah, you'd be alive right now. You'd just be a young boy, though. Yeah, Abigail's definitely better than, than Ashley any day. My only thing is I just wish I just wish that that Abigail wasn't so hard on John, but you know, whatever. I, I think John kinda likes it though. In his own way, I think John actually likes Abigail being Abigail. Probably keeps it interesting between the two. Alright, I still only got twenty dollars to my name. Alright, I'm gonna see about getting a bath before we go to see the, the guy at the bank. Alright. Let's park. There we go. All right. Stock Exchange of free fall. Again? Jeez. Howdy. Y'all are all friendly here in Blackwater. Keep up. Hello there, sir. Is this your first time in my saloon? So, uh, what's it be? Say, uh, a bath. Can I get a hot bath, please? I'm real dirty. That's excellent. Head on over and someone will assist. Alright. So is the bath right here? I think the bath is right. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, I mean that's the that's one of many things that Ashley is guilty of. So yeah. But you know, somebody made a good complaint about the game about this game in the end. Like John can't even do this when he has Beecher's Hope. And that's something I definitely have complained about. Uh, sure. Well, uh, yeah. Perfect. You can leave it to me. Why does she look like... Scrubbing too hard. Why does she look like a combination of Karen and Mary Beth? What's that all about? And how is that possible? You're going to feel so good after I'm through with you. Kind of makes you forget all the madness outside that door. Oh, you don't say. Random chat. Yep. Folks like to get clean, don't they? <laughs> Always will. Absolutely. All right. Let's clean old John up. God, my wife. <sighs> It's amazing. Oh gosh, you're making me blush. Is that it? Goodness, quite the scars you have, huh? There we go. If stay any longer, I'll turn into soup. It was lovely getting to know you. All right, now let's go get John a haircut. Can I interest you in any food or drink? Uh, we've got quite a selection. Uh, sure. Uh, let's see what you got on the menu, partner. Peach cobbler, prairie chicken. Uh, let's have a prairie chicken. Prairie chicken, please. And John's just going crazy. He's spending all his money. Five dollars, though, back then. I don't know. I feel like that's a little high for this time period. What do y'all think? All right, should have a little money left over to get John a haircut. All right. Dear me. 
All right. John's a lucky man. Well, he has his moments of luck, but everyone's luck runs out eventually. Alright, let me get John a shave, because I'm just going to do it, because I got to do it. Everything seems overpriced, yeah. Looking for a trim? Yes, sir. Move out of the darn way. Yeah, yeah, probably there. Yeah, a little bit of fuzz. Yeah, that'll work. That'll, that's good. Alright. Yeah, I do wish that they would have went back and reworked John a little bit. Because I know people do complain about that. And I, I agree. It's not the end of the world, but it would have been nice if Rockstar would have tweaked. Made, made him look a little bit more like how he looks in Red Dead Redemption 1. But like I said, it's not the end of the world. All right, now let's go to the bank. All right, now that we got John's, you know, cleaned up for the bank, you know, got to make him look his best. There we go. Let's go talk to the bank. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. Kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Yeah, I think squatters have been an issue recently in the news. There. Let's go deal with the squatters. All right, let's go up and check out this property that John wants to buy. But yeah, I think like some woman was trying to get squatters off her out of her house in New York, and she got arrested for it. I mean, it's her freaking property. 
And I think uh, the governor of Florida, DeSantis, like he he just signed a law, like an anti-squatter law. Yeah, so yeah, I personally have no sympathy for squatters unless it's property that has been long abandoned and they're just looking for a place to stay. I get that. But if it's property that's clearly owned by somebody else and it's being kept up, then obviously somebody lives there. So I don't, I don't see how a, a squatter can be protected over a property owner because it's the property owners that pay taxes. You know, we all pay taxes, but property owners pay a great deal of taxes. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Hey, uh, sir, you, you, do you need some medical assistance? Do you need a medic bag, sir? Okay. Anyways, uh, let's go check out this property. All right. Beecher's Hope. That that sounds familiar. All right. Let's have a look at this Beecher's Hope. All right. Well, that's a nice house right there. Practically a mansion. I'll be nice. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. Afraid, afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gone. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Alright. So what I like about this is you can act, you actually have legitimate options. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> you a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. See, I like that. This one, you actually have two options. You can either give them some money, or you can kill them. And if you, if you don't kill them, if you give them money, then you get a nice, awesome setting back to uh, Beach Your Soap. It's nice and sunny, but if you don't, if you kill them, then it's all stormy and ominous. I mean, I could have saved 10 bucks, but, you know, I'm trying to be legitimate, you know, even if it did cost me most of my money. You, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Yay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yay for owning property. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. 
Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. You're gonna get a new retro console, 400 mini? Okay, I never heard of that one. Well, it is you. Oh, no. I, never, I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and... Painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> he could take better care of his horse. I mean, look at his horses. Look at that. This horse is all hairy and stuff. You rather have you rather have Uncle than Abigail? I don't know. That's debatable. It's one of the I uh, runs Atari games, okay, from the 2600 to the 1200 XI. Okay, cool. All right. Well, hurry the fuck up, Uncle. Does your horse also have lumbago? Until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Yeah. So we, it'd be nice if we could ask Uncle, like, what has he been up to? But I guess we can't. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, you should take better care of your horse, Uncle. But, I mean, it doesn't really surprise me the state of his horse. What a lovely place this is. Hey. There we go. This is it. Look at her. Nice home. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump for Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Wow. That's not very nice, Uncle. 
We do all the work and uncle gets to relax and rest and have a good drink by the fire. Lumbago also affects the livestock. The sufferer cannot take care of their beasts for real. Yeah, apparently. Hey. All right, so we made it to epilogue part two. So we'll play for a little bit longer, but we're not going to really go too much further into the epilogue. I guess we could go do some side missions, some bounty action. What do y'all think? And, of course, John has a beard again. Because why not? All right. So we got uncle. Bank loan. So we got that mission complete. All right. All right. But uh, I will be back in a moment. We'll, we'll play for a little bit. I just I mean, you know what? I'm debating. Do y'all think we should just go ahead and, and finish the game today? I mean, we're only two hours and 15 minutes in. I, I feel like we have potentially plenty of time to, to play through the rest of the epilogue. Or should we, should we just start officially start epilogue two next Sunday and just do some bounty work and side stuff? Let me know what y'all think. Feel free and let me know your thoughts in the uh, chat, and uh, I will be right back. All right, UG says, might as well finish it. Belfast says, continue. Well, I mean, if I go ahead and go into, into Epilogue Part 2 now, I might as well play till the end now. So I, I guess since no one has protesting it, screw it, let's just do it. Let's do it, shall we? I wasn't intending on wrapping up the game today, but why not? I mean, we still may not. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Working hard. It's the lumbago. I am. I overdo it. I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof. I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up. <laughs> I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town and oh, I got, got a little drunk. Oh, shit. Well, we got to go. We got to go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Yes, I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. All right, well, let's go save Charles. I'm still debating whether or not to continue with the epilogue. Because part of me was wanting to do at least one more stream. Here we are. 
Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slums. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums? And somehow John's horse is just magically here. All right. I got three dollars to John's name. I think I may have something to sell at the fence, so let me try and do that. Maybe I can raise it some capital. I'm trying to. All right. Let's go see the fence. All right. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Nope. Sorry, mister. No. Nope. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. All right. Do I have anything worth selling? Oh, I do have some things worth selling. All right. Sell this. I think they might be starting soon. Native American ring. Should I keep that? Uh, oh, that's worth something. Uh, silver earring. I would head along that way. Yeah, um, I'm trying to decide if I want to keep these. Yeah, they're worth. Okay, I got John a few bucks. I'll hold on to the rest of this, but the Rutlingers. $155. It's not as much. All right, all right. I'm gone. I got a few dollars in John's pocket. Definitely better than $3. All right. Let's go to the fight. All right. Yeah, put a few bucks in John's pocket. So it wasn't exactly a bad trip to the uh, to the fence. We got some information and a little bit of money. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good lord! I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. That first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, a turns out. <laughs> a massacre, and you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Well, that kind of just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only... She left me. Uh, excuse me. 
I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Uh, yes. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for Even though wolves uh, gave him a few scars. Of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Let's watch the fight. I hope that Charles wins. I put some money on this fight. Damn. Dude's getting destroyed. Shit. Also makes some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. It's your share, partner. We just made the bed. I said. We so you keen on staying around here, or heading off with me and Uncle? But John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Uh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Oh, real deep. Oh, I made forty dollars. This way. I wish I could have betted all the money that I had. My bag's on the dock side. Then I could have made even more money. What happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal? He always drew in. I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, Arthur's better at drawing than John is. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. 
Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... We were on a very bad path. And Micah Bell dragged us into the abyss. Pretty much. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> Yay. You couldn't have thrown that fight. Just one fight. Where are those guns at? Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my back. Okay. All right. All right, grab your bag. Let's go, Charles. Let's flee. You're glad Charles gave Arthur a funeral, yeah. Keep your eye out. And and Gris Grimshaw. Remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. Where did we get from those gunshots? Better chance we have. Of denying it at least. No. We can't get caught. That was your fault, Charles! Charles, what are you doing? You're murdering these people. Simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, <laughs> Charles, <laughs> you boys been off getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> home, sweet home. Back to the Great Plains we go. I'm glad that the game just doesn't force us to ride all the way back to the Great Plains and just skips ahead. Very considerate of you, Rockstar. It feels kind of rushed, but also considerate. So yeah, I guess we'll keep playing. My original plan was to was to stop, but I kind of don't want to stop, and I feel like there's not really much protest in me stopping. Hey, what's up, Ryan? How you doing? I hope you're well. All right, so we have an uncle mission. We also have a Sadie mission. We made a little bit of money, but not much. So my question is, which one do I do first? Do I do, well, uncle is right here. So let's just do this mission first. Screw it. But I hope you're doing well, Brian, along with everybody else. Uh, feels like old times. <laughs> Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't going to change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. 
the house. Yeah. He's gotta go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house that a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Hey, Gibson, what's up? How you doing? I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. All right. I'll just pull. You got this job? Come on. I'll go when you do. Pull it. Rip this thing down. This reminds me of Michael pulling down uh, Martin's house. What do y'all think? Kind of, sort of. See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay, you keep working here. No, but if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Right, let's go. Pretty easy enough. Okay, Missy. All right. Yeah, we're continuing. Like I said, the original plan was to stop at the beginning of part two, but I guess we decided not to stop. It happens, you know. Nobody's complaining that I'm still playing, so there you go. All right, do I have anything for a horse? Nope, I got nothing for the horse. That sucks. Oh, well. Skinner Brothers. Alright. Well, I'm going to help myself to whatever loot these assholes have. I haven't done anything to the Skinner Brothers yet. And this is how they're treating me? Well, I guess they're all going to have to die. Still, I do appreciate the uh, the loot, gentlemen. Well, you're not really gentlemen, are you? More like vermin. Cockroaches. But yeah, like I said, I'll help myself to these scumbags. And unlike the Murphy Brood, they actually have money. So that's good. Right, there's one more over here. Which gang, in your opinion, is the scariest gang in Red Dead Redemption 2? The Skinner Brothers, Murphy Brood, Night Folk, or one of the other gangs? I think those are probably the top three. Got a few extra bucks out of that. It's some bullets. I'll take it. All right, back in Blackwater. Plus, I, you know, I just did a community service by killing those assholes. I guess I'm going to see Sadie. Alright. Let's go talk to Sadie. Hello, 
Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. Goodbye, Brian. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Yep. A nice, lovely ride. All right. Let's get going. Come on, man. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. All right. Off we go. Horse. Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. I'm sure he had that horse, though. I mean, personally, I, I like the gold Turkman better. in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. The offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. Have you heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls? That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. But I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. 
I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. All right, let's keep going. All right. <sighs> yeah, the vlog is up. March 2024 vlog is up. Riley and me, check it out. And uh, there will be a video out tomorrow. Early access for the members. Yeah, I think John's better off being a bounty hunter than a ranch hand. What do y'all think? Like, I feel like this is what he's better at. Being a bounty hunter. Maybe he should have stuck with doing this. instead you all right? New Austin Armadillo Call Reveal Ugh, I hate the fact they did that to Armadillo in this game and in Red Dead Online it just Easy. it irks me a little Come on. Let's go take a look down in the valley. Be quicker if we both look. You got binoculars, don't you? I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Yep. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just worked for him. Where do you think they're heading? Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, bounty hunting. They're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Yeah. Because basically, that's what John ends up doing in Red Dead Redemption One, anyways, is basically bounty hunting for Edgar Ross. Following you, Sadie. Stay back from the edge. Right. You won't get north through here. What are you doing, huh? You you're talking to me or like to sorry. I ain't used to having anyone with me. Let's keep going. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. Alright. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Yeah, Pike's Basin. Yeah, 
sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Mm, the rest of Langton's men, I think. Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. All right, let's sneak. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Oh. Let's go. All right, we're going to try and sneaky sneaky. This probably won't go well, but we'll try. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. I also got throwing knives. Oh. Oh. Keep going. Keep her going. Oh, it's the bouncy bridge. It's not squeaky bridge, it's bouncy bridge, Sadie. Get it right. You have some GD respect. What? What do you mean we ain't? St that was that was sneaking. What are you doing, game? What the? F this game, I tell you. What do you mean we're not sneaking no more? That was a good kill. Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't miss. I killed him. What the fuck? That is so lame. Whatever. I guess I can take solace in the fact it doesn't fail you, but still. That's bullshit. Oh well. Keep going. Well, I'm gonna help myself to a little looting. Reinforcements. 
Nice buck. Get down there. Maybe I can do a little looting before we get out of here. Make a little extra on the side. All right, all right. Give me a second. All right, all right, all right, fine. Let's go. Yeah. So it's like Rockstar, you think you hit it? No, I did hit it though. The dude got got in the back of his head. He's dead. That's the thing. I did not miss. So that should have been a stealth kill. Even when he's not blaming, he's blaming Rockstar. That's true, Red. That's true. It's not like I missed. I hit the dude. So that should have been a kill. All right, I'm coming, Sadie. What the? Oh, Sadie's dead. Rip. What the hell? Come on. I went the wrong way for like two or three, for two or three fucking seconds. And that was enough to seal her fate. Whatever. There we go. Yeah, awful lot of men. Us. Got it. Well, well, I think I didn't have to shoot the last guy. He kind of had a little accident. All right. Hey, Stuart, how's it going? And thanks for the Stuart like. And also, thanks for watching the uh, vlog. I saw your comment. The March 2024 vlog is available, by the way. Pinned in the live chat, link below in the description section, and over on the vlogs channel. I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Nah. <laughs> That's it. How did it work, Andy? How was dinner? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there will be more demand for our service. Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now, mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hey, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. 
Definitely pays better. Pretty good, nice. All right. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Time for you to face justice, Mr. Finley. My head. Ah, bastard! In you go. Oh. Well, there's a bucket for you. We're going to watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. All right, two hundred dollar. Honest day's labor. You love the semi-auto shotgun, blows people's heads off. Yeah, the semi-auto is pretty good. There's a lot of really good guns in uh, the game. All right, let's go talk to this one guy. Yeah, Hi-Fi Rush is coming to PS5. I would highly recommend it for anyone that's into a game like that. I played it a while back on Xbox. I enjoyed it. Though I did have some salty moments. Alright. Go ahead and park uh, the horse here. I'm not going to be replaying it, though. So, that's not happening. <laughs> One playthrough of Hi-Fi Rush was enough for me. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse huh. me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. Mr. Martin. A minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. They're Skinner's about. We need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devin, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. 
Let's go buy us some tools. Yeah, the final boss really made me salty in Hi-Fi Rush. Follow me. All right, Mr. Wayne. Probably no relation to Bruce Wayne <laughs> of the Wayne family. Hey, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I uh, think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash, so it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Nope. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns behind, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. Look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What was that you were saying? When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. Okay, so let me pause it right here. If we go right, we could just take the lumber to Beecher's Hope right now. And then, we could, Charles and I could just ride up to Mansonia Post and get the tools from the Norwegian. This part is just busy work. It's pointless if you think about it. Because all we got to do is turn right and it takes you straight into Beecher's Hope. Good job, Rockstar. Padding a mission, I see. Wood, the roof. See, it's like literally right there. I had to pause it because he doesn't stop talking. Yeah, we, Charles and I could have just rode up here and picked up the tools. After you, Mr. Milton. All right, let's go get some tools from Niels. Another thing, I don't think that's enough wood in these two wagons. All right, you do the talking. But yeah, once again, I think it needs we need more wagons than just two wagons for all the lumber it's going to take to build the house. But okay. <laughs> Video games. Nails. Nails, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. <laughs> He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. 
Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. You know the feeling there's a guy that works for me who doesn't know when to shut up, yeah. All right, then. I, I like to talk too, but I also like to listen to other people talk. Oh shit. Got hit. Skinner brothers. If we want to get him. Yeah, they'll one shot you, but they get you. Think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grab Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here. Guard the wagon. Charles, come on. They just. All right, we're coming, Mr. Wayne. Got him. I wonder if, like, uh, do y'all think Dutch might be behind the Skinner brothers? Or do you think that he just, whoever survives, yeah, Dutch just takes under his wing? No, fucker! Fuck you. Right, we're coming, Mr. Wayne. Or at least we're trying to. Alright, let's go find Mr. Wayne. I'm sure he's fine. Mr. Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Charles, I found the tools. Now where's Mr. Oh. Shit. All right. Mm. 
Well. Jesus. You gotta move fast. Come on. Alright. Let's go. God damn it. A few minutes ago he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? <laughs> Except me. Later, John. Yeah, coyotes, enjoy your meal. All right, let's keep going. Back to the wagons. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody too. Is he? Is it bad? They opened him up pretty good. Just the way this makes it. Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right, let's get out of here. All right. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, my Lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Got it? I mean, at least a lot of them died in the process, but... Come on. We gotta go. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Come on, Charles. Those goddamn animals. Yep. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed... is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No, not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. It was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Men, women, children. Ended up like women. Or worse. Uncle! 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 You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. You pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. Man, rip Mr. Wayne. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. All right. Alright, moving on to the next mission, I guess. Uh, some coffee? Okay. Where's the coffee at? Is there coffee? <laughs> wow. Can I eat this? I guess not. Or do I have to? I guess I have to uh, make the coffee myself. Okay. I guess that's how it's going to be. All right. Let's uh, make some coffee. Well, I think I pushed the wrong button. I know I did. I'm fine. All right. Oh, I have no coffee. 
Well, that that means I'm not making coffee. That that kind of sucks. Uh, let's get on with this mission. All right. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Are you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. <laughs> oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. All right, here we go. Building a house simulator, yay! Yep, We're building a house. And up we go. Good job, Uncle. Working hard as usual. All right, hammer it in. Yeah, there we go. Good job, John. Hammer it in. And the bird's supposed to represent Arthur, I think. The blue bird. Yeah, the lumbago theme. There's the bird again. Well, let me have a rule and a song. There we go. Now cut it. Yay. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail. Now nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever. No matter what the weather, we're together. Thanks for the coffee. We'll get it built eventually. Left, 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 left. Left it. There we go. There. Go it. Go, 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 go. Get it up, get it up. Come on, boys. Come on, lift, 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 and hammer, 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 lift and hammer. Getting there. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, now nail it. Oh. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. I wonder how long it would take to actually build a house like this yourself. Probably a quick minute. My whatever lumbago damn the singer hit it hard, yeah. Imagine us doing this in Reddit online. Yeah. 
There's a lot of things I imagined and read that online, which I made ideas videos for. Most of them didn't turn out to be, I'm afraid. All those ideas. That's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> it takes weeks for two people? Yeah. My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, Come back to me. Yours always, John. Oh, a few days later. It is a nice house. Yeah, she, oh, well, she doesn't, well, she actually doesn't complain about the house for once, so that she actually likes it. Uncle, I thought you was, where the hell? There's a bluebird. Flying away. Man, I'm a good house builder. That was a lot of hard work, though. Anything we should be worried about? Skinners? No. Seems quiet. Good. Maybe that was all of them. Good. Well, you take care now. Talk to you later. Alright. So we'll move on to the next mission. I mean, I'm going to go grab a water first. Don't worry, I have a water in the next room. I planned ahead, but I, I forgot to grab it a moment ago. Just checking out our home. It's... It's getting there, you know. We're, it, it'll once be a nice place to live once it's has a, a woman's touch to it. See, there's a little bit of work left. We're, we're getting there, though. We're getting there. All right. All right. All right. I will be right back.
Amazing two wagon loads would build a house. Yeah, I I think that it probably took a bit more than two wagon loads. I don't know, maybe those were just the first two wagon loads and then more wagon loads of lumber came in. But yeah, I think realistically it would have taken a bit more. Okay, but anyways, let us continue. And I do appreciate y'all watching. If you're enjoying, I guess this is going to be the finale. Because uh, so far, you know, we're heading towards the end of the uh, of epilogue part two. We got a few missions left, but I guess we'll wrap it up today. Why not? Oh, this looks like a fine spot. Oh, there's Uncle. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. I do. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so... So cows, sheep, goats. Now goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. All right, let's go. I can't move like I used to. And I never was that fast. Yeah, I guess we're going to wrap it up today. That's just fine. Let's go. All right. Now, this fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some corn husk idiot. Some country room doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Uh, I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let's get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Well, then that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? <laughs> You're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Hey, what if they foreclose on the debt? I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Why'd he stop? What did he stop for? That was weird. Anyways, let's go get a barn, shall we? Alright. Get ourselves a bar in order, shall we? And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? Emily. We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that one. We're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, but I, this I, man I, is very annoying. I agree. Just give me a few days. Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I, John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing. Uh, you up for a fight? Is it legal? <whistles> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <whistles> Let's go. go. Him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. <laughs> Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. All right, let's go, Sandy. Know good authority, we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, let's go to Painted Sky. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Good morning, friend. Sadie, hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez, he's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back uh, down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios. And some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law, except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, uh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie, despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> wow. All right. Almost a big sky. Painted sky. Whoa. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. 
Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Get down and take a look. You search that. All right. Barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. All right, head into the barn. Pardon me, madam. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Oh no! Don't fight it. You got him? <laughs> one. I, so. I one hitted him like Just fuck. To kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on, let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rogue. It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Ah, oh, nice little skip. I, I'm fine with this. Skips ahead. But yeah, I do appreciate y'all watching this playthrough. Originally, I wasn't going to finish today, but I think we've pretty much decided. Why not? Let's just end it, shall we? I mean, I did end my Dark Forces playthrough Friday. Let's grab Cortez. There we go. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Three hundred. Mr. Sheriff. Three hundred dollars. Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez. Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> That'll go well. It'll be fine. There's not going to be any issues or problems. See, it's nice and peaceful. How many days are we here for? Like, seriously, how long are we here? And all this time, like, Pearson owns the store now. So you think we would have visited Pearson while we're all just hanging out, you know? Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him come, it, boys. Kill him.
It's a distraction. See, the game wants you to chase them. But you know why, don't you? Because uh, they're going to break him out. Because it's a distraction. Yep. Unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. All right. Off we go. Where are we going to find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stolen off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks. Waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse? Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Yeah, but doesn't John still have a price on his head? Initiating the cutscene, anyways. There. They must be camping down there. 
Why'd they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. <laughs> but it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Yes, ma'am. Go. Move, 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 move. Gone. Not done yet, are we?
might just be. Son of a bitch. Now, I was saying, well, that's that then. Help right. me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. <laughs> oh, I mean to Son of a Mrs. bitch. Damn it, I dropped him by accident. What sense is it would be rude not to rob you? Only a silver clamp buckle? Jeez. It's my show, remember? You do the heavy lifting. Let's get out of here. Alright, alright. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You're, you're a dead woman. And you are a dead man. But the Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. All right, let's go. You're gonna say that now? I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita Hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. Well. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're going to come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna go for you! Oh, no. Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Alright, we're almost back in roads. Here we are. Back again. Looks like. Ah, there's the... There's your ride, uh, Ramon. Hello. Big mistake. Real big mistake. Well... Eh, maybe in the next life. Or in hell, or... Wher we him, wherever. Sir. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Sand and Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. i see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Don't even get to stick around to say hi to Pearson at the uh, shop. Oh, well. What a shame. The barn's already built. I mean, we weren't gone that long. Eh, at least they got their money so they can stop threatening us.
Nice barn, John. It'll be the last thing you ever walk out of. Alright, see up here or is he over here? How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think? You call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house, the barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Wow. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we've brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll cover it out, and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us marry me. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> well, they had a good time, didn't they? John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! The lumbago finally got poor Uncle. That fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Course. My guess is they went that way, but my other guess is they know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Yep, that's definitely a trap. Yeah. Hey, look, another hat. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Let's go save poor uncle. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about him. Should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards the tall trees. Come on. All right. Got that. Let's see, Mabel. Go on a little bit more heavy duty this time. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, do you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp. But it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's hope for the best. Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. I guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. All right. All right, let's go. Stay. To the trees. Come on. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. All right. 
Up there, to the right. Two skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. Alright. Let's keep going. The more skinners we kill, the better. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. All right, sneaky, sneaky. Hold. Patrol to our left. We're outnumbered. We should let him pass. Let him go. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. All right now what? He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on, they've passed. Let's go. All right. All right. Nice and quiet. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. Drag it, someone. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. He might lead us to the camp. No! Stay with him. Alright. Sneaky, sneaky. Take him down before he gets to the rest. Okay, let's go. Well, I tried to save him. I think I see something. Oof. Like, uh -huh. like that matters in this part of the game. But okay. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder. Take a look. Hang in there, old man. I'm supposed to get on the higher boulder, okay. Right, I'll get up here. Video game. Okay. okay, I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, 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 behind you! All right, let's go get a trial, Uncle. Alright, we're coming, Uncle.
Cut him free. I was trying to cut him free. I wasn't trying to loot, to be honest. For once. You're okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. Ow. Those bastards. We got him. Damn. Fuck. It looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Keep going. Get on the horse. Go, go, go. Fuck you, Skinner brothers. Try to get home. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. I don't feel good. Alright. Whoa, whoa! I'm feeling real weird. <sighs> Uncle. Uncle. Hey. Where? Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Don't get all sentimental now, old man. And I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. You'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? You? Your family, you'll all be safe. I hope so. 
really do. Yeah, we'll if see. If she ever comes back. If. Big if, right? <laughs> All right, so we got a few missions left. More work. Yay. More honest work from Mr. Marston. There we go, clean in the horsey. way with words you doing all right son sure pop can I go see the house sure just give him some time he'll warm up it's quite a place you got here it's yours ours I should see about that boy Who's my new rival? It's Rufus! Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! Well, now it's starting to feel like a home. Very nice. All right, so we got some missions. All right, so we'll do Jack's, I guess we'll do Jack's mission first. I think it's the fishing mission. And then Abigail mission. Then I think that leads us to the finale, if I'm not mistaken. I think there's, isn't there like one more Sadie mission though? How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and uh, playing with the dog. You want to go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. Do like eating though, right? Because we've got to find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. All right, let's go fishing. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Yeah, we're pretty close, Red. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. So... You don't care if we don't catch fish. Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun. I promise. Hopefully. Okay. It's fine. Well, doggy. Even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should. Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean, yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. 
You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's... It's... It's life. I... I can't explain it. Okay. What are you gonna be when you're older? I wanna travel. See the world. That's a good idea. Then, become a lawyer and, and help people. That's not a lawyer, that's a... Are you laughing at me? No. Never. Just... Whatever you do, do it better than me and your mom. We had it. However we had it. We didn't make the most of it until now. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's go fishing. I don't know, what, what is it about Jack and rivers? It's always a river with Jack. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but... Real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. All right. There you go. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you... I don't think I have a coffee. Not a fish now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose you did. Dude, yeah, not far nice. enough. I got a bite. I got a bite. Nice. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's he's strong. Good. Now reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. All right, there you go. I got him. Good job, Jack. <sighs> what do you think? How you feel? <laughs> I don't. I feel. I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's going to show up here. Thank the Lord. I don't know Jack would actually remember that. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. Because he was pretty young whenever that happened, so I don't know if Jack would remember I don't know. Yeah, right, we'll check on him in a minute. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Alright, let's go check on Rufus. Let me come help you look. Rufus, where are you? Him, Pa. Can you go search the other side of the track? All right, let's go over here. Doggo, where are you? Doggo. Now where's Jack? I lost the dog and Jack. What the hell? It's not going so well. I see. He bit him. Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? We'll 
suck it, Dad. Spit it out. Yeah, I don't know if this actually works in real life. Dad, Rufus, no. Are you sucking? <laughs> don't swap. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. All right. Abigail. Can I get a hand? What's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes. Sometimes. You just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But. But the dog. The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. It'll be fine. Rufus will be fine because he has to be in the next game. I, how did I get a silver star? What? Whatever. That's bullshit. It's coming along, ain't it? Sure is. You won't need an old brawler hanging around here much longer. You ain't a brawler, Charles. Your family. All right. Let's go do the next mission, shall we? There we go. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So, <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma, Pa, come out here. Sadie, <laughs> you're alive. John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We, I saw her, I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm so happy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No arm to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I gonna do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. <laughs> Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's gonna do something better than this. Like what? Write silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I gotta bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. What is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. You know, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. 
You hear? Of course. Bye, honey. Yeah. It's a way. Let's get your horse and let's go. Bye, doggo. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Yeah. Hey. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was, it was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or, it, asking her at least. Oh my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But, <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. All right, let's go do this bounty. Another accountant? Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. All right. This... This looks... Looks like a bear. Something came through here. The fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. All right, let's go. It's that way, I'd say. Great. All right, down we go. Damn it! I lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. Pretty. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe. Jeez. It looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's the lift of one? Is it gone? You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. Don't shoot. Keep walking. 
Oh shit. I should have been dead from all the times I've He's gone. I blasted him with a fucking Third wheel. <sighs> Get out of here. Before I come in there and kill you myself. I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here. Come here. Ow. Third wheel. Call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. All right. I can't believe we didn't kill that bat. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. Yeah, we should have killed him. I put so many bullets in him. Yeah, I didn't wait for any dialogue. I just killed him. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah? That's something we... Well, I, I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, I know. Well, I'm hearing things, a lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you, but you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here we are. All right, we're Let's get him to the jailhouse. Okay, get you. <sighs> Here. 
Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. Always paying off the damn bank. All right, let's keep going. You know, I think I got a little treat for you, horsey. There we go. That's better. All right, so let's move on to the next mission. Yeah, it does look like we're going to wrap this thing up. I also smell Riley cooking, so... Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, food. That'd be nice to have some food. But we'll wrap this up. And then after that, I'll eat. But appreciate everyone that's watching, whether you're watching live or later on when this is a video. And I do appreciate everyone that's watched the playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2 that I've done five years later. And this will probably be the last time I do a, a Let's Play of this game. It's been a great journey, but you know I've played this game a few times already, and I'll probably be moving on. I don't know if we'll do it. I mean, I hope I'm still around for ten years later. I mean, that's all, you know, speculative, up in the air. I mean, we'll probably be playing GTA Six and Six Online way before that point. But we'll see. No promises. Yeah, you, know, you say one thing, and then five years later, yeah. You feel a little nostalgic, and then you're like, hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe I will eventually do a 10 years later stream of Red Dead Redemption 2. Maybe by then we'll have 60 FPS on whatever the next-gen consoles are, like the PS6. Or maybe not. All right. Was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling you out by your ear. Ah, oh, you always was a cold-hearted lizard of a woman. And you always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. Friend or foe? Friend or foe? Getty's boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir! Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom, Paul, we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. Then we can arrange. What the hell's going on in the background? Kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> send your pa my best regards. Tell him... He's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. All right. Let's go for a little okay, romantic look, getaway. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh, since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we've got something to show for it. The ranch. This life. It's so nice, John. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, John. Yeah, 
There we go. <laughs> and now to Blackwater. All right, let's go. Things we still need. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marsden. Oh, I ain't had a drink and well. I left those things behind me. No, I mean good. Wholesome fun. Like uh decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took for starters. Portrait? There's a fella in town who takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just... Walk around, see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. If any luck, Jack and Charles will eat up. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay, then. Portrait it is. All right, let's get a portrait. I'll just put us here. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. Uh, Mando, I don't really care. Hi, Mando. I'm going to head to the Drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You want to come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. But anyways, man, I hope you're having a good weekend along with everybody else. All right. Let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> a different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably. Hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Our, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. Background? Yes. We have Niagara Falls. Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take a take a look. Pick one. I say the prairie. That makes the most sense because What do you think? Let's see the others. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. All right. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Yeah. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Is that all of them? Ah, oh, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. Stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. 
Try to enjoy. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. I thought you were a cowboy. Poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. That'll work. This? That works. Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Going slow. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know... You're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a post. He seemed to enjoy himself. Uh. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Yeah, let's go watch a moving picture. It's the marvel of the age. I may go watch one of the moving pictures this week. Okay, good. Even though I hear it's not a very good mo moving picture, I feel like I should watch it, though. Since I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. What's playing? Something called Sketching for Sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see Sketching for Sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. 50 okay. cents? What's it about? I have no idea. All right. Probably a better movie than Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Come on in. I guess I'll find out hopefully this week. You have to see some moving pictures? Yeah. Hey, right, stop that. It's rude. What are you doing with that on? I thought you might be cold. John. That's right. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. <laughs> what? I'm watching. Please. Shh. <laughs> Looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. <laughs> nice purse. Uh oh, no! Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Shh. Oof. They end. Oh my. Is it over? I think so. Come on. Jeez. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why? You finally going to drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, well, he's even worse. Let me help you in. 
<laughs> Better than seeing any Ben Shapiro movie, Wild Red. Like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. Don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. They'll think we're borrowing. I hope we don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? Yeah, you have to hope for the best. Look around. Here's good. Ain't it pretty? It's nice. What are you asking? You <laughs> Will you marry me? Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. That fits, wow. What are the odds? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. Hmm. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never... I didn't know it mattered to me. It didn't. But now it does. Hmm. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, come on, Yuji. Look, despite Abigail's flaws, obviously John loves her, you know? I will say this, Abigail does have her moments, but... I just wish she wasn't so... I wish she just didn't complain so much, but... Mary John likes that in a woman. No. Whatever makes you happy. Yeah, I agree, Red. I do like the scene. Despite how annoying Abigail can be, I still like the scene. Uh, Mando, uh, will you ever drop GTA, KS mod stream, maybe viewers? I doubt I'll ever do a mod stream, Mando. Probably not. I'm not really into mods. Oh, well, it's fine, UG. It's just that like, I, I get the, the dislike for Abigail, and I, I share it most of the time. But, you know, John likes her. Well, he obviously loves her, and you know it is a it is a romantic scene. But I do think that she complains a bit too much. All right, let's go do this. But it does kind of break the established canon, though, because it's mentioned that John proposed to her at gunpoint, but clearly he didn't. Or, or maybe she felt like it was gunpoint. Oh, hello, doggy. Who's a good doggy? All right, let's go in. Men used to travel all across Europe to eat his... Remarkable. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear. Apples are delicious. <laughs> What's for dinner? Away with you, you no good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> hey, Tommy. John, come out here. Abigail's not the rat. That's a dumb theory, Mando. Hey, John. Abigail. That is a stupid theory. Sadie. Charles. I found him. 
hound Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering the woman. Been seen drinking in Strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Micah. But I gotta go now. You coming? No. He's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm begging you. No! You'd risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks as fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... <laughs> I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Well, please. <laughs> I do kind of understand this from her point of view because she's afraid that. Let's go kill this son of a bitch then. Like she's afraid that Micah's too powerful and too dangerous, you know. So I, I kind of get that. So I, I do kind of get her not wanting John to go because she's afraid that it might be a one-way trip for him. Plate. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. <laughs> My memory is that both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah, and that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh... I think I might get out of here. Go north. Canada. Find a woman. Start a family if I can. I see how that life. Well, I'd like to try it. Oh, hey, John. You've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Mm. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here too. Down South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. That's right, business and strawberry. A great Micah was able to destroy the whole gang. Exactly. So I understand. Yeah, I completely understand from Abigail's point of view why she doesn't want John to go. Okay, Strawberry. This is it. See, Henry. Mafia 2 devs confirmed that Falcone set up Henry. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. I'm guessing it was always implied that Henry was a rat. But, Okay. Let's go find our good boy, Cleet. Hey, Cleet! Been a while. Shit. Stop that man! He's wanted for hey, murder! We'll hit him off. Hey, stop, stop, stop! Can't escape us, Cleet! Ain't no point in trying. Move! Come here, hey, friend! Huh? He got past! Mary Cleet! Man, shit. We're not shit, Cleet. Hey, hey, you little. Where is he? 
Hey, 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 hey! Stop, 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 stop! Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. What? Good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. I told you! Ah, you didn't tell us what we wanted to hear, Cleet. I don't know, Tommy. I still feel like Henry was a rat, but that's just my opinion. No, no, no. Come on up. We have your appointment reserved. We'd hate for you to miss it. Get the hell up there. Get. There you go. All right, string the no good murdering bastard up. Yeah, I, th I think it might fit, Cleet. Where's Mike? Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Talk, or I'll pull this lever. Talk. No, 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 no. We, 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 we. He's up in the mountains. I think he's, he's up in Mount Hagen. Got a whole gang now. Bad man, doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest, please. I'm, I'm one of the good guys. Ha! Hang him. No, no. You got what you came for. Uh, I can't do it, Sadie. Not like this. Thank you. Thank you, John. No, 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 no. Come on now. You won't ever see me again. I said, hang him. As you wish. Oh, Jesus. Piece of shit. Well done. Let's move on. Come on. A little rat said Mount Hagen. I guess the town of Strawberry didn't protest, did they? I guess that's how they really felt about Cleet. We don't really get much time with Cleet, you know? It's a long we get a little time with Joe in online, but we never get to actually see Cleet. Yeah. Alright, time for the final ride up to the mountain. Bye, Cleet. Yep, guess we're wrapping it up today. Probably that. What else? Let's make sure we're... Where's John's at? Damn it. Well, that's John's. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. We'll rock like that. Get down. I can get a shot now, it won't be able to. Alright, 
God damn it. Ugh, I was too slow. I didn't want to die. That's it. It's over. Uh, in the stream. Thanks for everybody for stopping by. This is how uh, John died. The end. Rip. Fuck. I didn't want to die. <sighs> Fucking fail. You took my game took my sniper from me. That is such bullshit game. Oh my god, what trash. That is such a bullshit thing to do, take away a man's sniper rifle. That. Uh, it's pissing me off. Get down, John. Game's fucking cheating. There. Effing. I still call bullshit though. That that was totally bullshit. Taking my fucking. Hey, you're okay. You're okay. I will be. Go on. Go on now. Move fast. Go come down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just, I just can't move fast. Okay. Come on, John. Shit. Let's go do this. I still think it's bullshit they took my freaking sniper rifle. But whatever. Keep going. I have no ranged weapon. Thank you very much, game. Unless, uh, I have slugs. Okay, let me switch it to slugs. At least that'll give me some range. Let's keep going. At least has some slugs on me. Okay. Alright. Right. Hey Grumpy Wombat, how's it going? I'll reach out in a second. We're going up. Coming. Alright, let's keep going, keep going. You like the game how the game ends where it starts? Yep, yeah, basically not exactly, but But yeah, it starts in the snow and it ends in the snow. 
you don't look too fine. Come on. You're bleeding pretty bad. Ain't nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be up Look there who it is. in a minute. Ain't there we you go. got a habit of just showing up? But I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Just me. I was kind of hoping I could kill you. All right. All right, here we go. All right. Stay down. Damn it. Let's keep going. Alright, let's keep going. It didn't end well for you. Maybe he was talking about himself. Sniper. Fuck. Damn it. For fuck's sakes. Say good day, GB. Halfway through Ghost of Tsushima. Okay, well, I hope you're enjoying Ghost of Tsushima. It's a great game. You're going to give uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 a second playthrough? Awesome. Very cool. It's one thing you hate as well. All the time you get off your horse, the game... Well, yeah, I had the, the sniper rifle, and then I get killed, and then I get killed again, and fuck it. God damn it. Maybe I, I'm just getting fatigued. You know, I really should... Oh, come on! Fuck you! Uh. 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 Let's lose some of these people. I need some hills. Oh, hi, Joe. I guess you won't be selling any more Capitale, you son of a bitch. Oh, let's keep going. Let's just go slow. Yeah, I think I'm just getting a little fatigued and hungry. It's fine, though. Oh, fucker, come behind me. Ah, oh, I hate you. 
Find time to reload. I mean, at least I got Arthur's hat back. So there's a positive. What the fuck? Shoot! What the hell is not letting me shoot at him? What is what is going on with the game? Are you are you kidding me? The game was not letting me shoot him! What is this? No, not again. I'm tired of killing you, Joe. Fuck you and ugh. My god, this is the worst ending for me ever. Even my first playthrough went better than this. This is not how I wanted it to end. Son of a bitch. God damn it. I'm done with playthroughs after this. Fuck this. What the fuck is going on with me? What the hell? I don't get it. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. I'm just being trashed. Uh, I'm in hell. Did I die on my stream and now in hell? Is that where I'm at right now? I, I, I just don't fucking understand why I'm doing so bad. Like, what is this? Why are they shooting me so OP? What is going on with this fucking game? There is something really weird going on. It's like the game is f intentionally fucking me. This is so weird. It's like there's like auto shooting. What is this? What the fuck is going on with this game? It usually doesn't do this. Like, what the hell? This is so weird. Yay, all I have is booze and cigarettes. That's great. This is really annoying. God damn it! No way! What is going on? What is this? What the fuck is this? I should have been done with the final mission. This should be over. And yeah, I keep getting stomped. What is going on? I don't... I don't know what's going on. This is fucking nightmare fuel. Somebody tell me I'm still awake and still here. 
Did I, did I just fall over dead in real life? And been put in a fucking state of hell or something? I don't get this. My other two playthroughs in the finale, I did way better than this. I just need some heals or something, damn it. I hate that the game took away my fucking sniper rifle. It's fucking bullshit. It's just like I'm being destroyed and I don't know why. I mean, this is supposed to be fun and exciting near the end, not, not you being destroyed. You know, part of me really wishes I would have stopped. Like, at, at the end of part one, like I had planned. I really wish I would have stopped at the end of part one of the epilogue. But I thought... I didn't envision it going this bad. We'll get through it. Then I think I'm taking a break from Let's Plays for a while. I need a fuck it. Fuck you. <sighs> I'm just trying to get heals and stuff. Fuck. See, there's going to be a sniper up there, and I've got to take out the sniper. But the game stopped me from killing the sniper. That's the part that really pissed me off. Well, that time I got to kill him. They're all dead this time. Well, fuck you. This is just, this is the most bizarre finale I've had. All right, all right, just regroup. Fuck sakes. My guns are dirty as fuck. This is really frustrating. I, I don't know why I've been doing so bad today. Like I said, we should be rolling credits at this point.
Maybe I've grabbed the wrong weapons for this, I don't know. Keep going. <sighs> I really could use like a bolt action or a repeater. This will work. God, sorry I've been so salty. I just... I've played this game before. I just had some bad luck in the finale, I swear. I don't even know why. Hey, look, there's a rat. I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. That's why you don't try to fight him. Plot twist. Now, John. Now, what were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are 
teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. Now I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You, you just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch, killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Master. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. <laughs> Hey, Kane. He shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. There. I can't believe how many times I failed to go up this stupid mountain. Oh, whatever. At least it's over. Bye, Dutch. See you in a few years. You okay? Fine. You're crazy. I hope so. Help me up. Oh. Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. <sighs> Jeez. I guess grab as much as you can, John. You know, you could have put it into, like, several different bags. Well. Jack, Uncle, come out here! It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> the end. Yay, the end. It all over. I'm going to where the sun burns in the heat stays in well, that's the end of my Let's Play for Red Dead Redemption 2, five years later. Uh, it's over. That's enough for now. But I do appreciate y'all watching. I guess we'll watch the, uh, well, not the entire credits, because the entire credits goes on for 500 years. I do appreciate everyone that made the game, though, so credit to everyone at Rockstar Games that made Red Dead Redemption 2. So, big props. Credit to all of you. We'll watch, uh, I guess, a few of the scenes 
And then we will call it a day because I'm going to go eat. Money I'm going to go relax. <sighs> Still can't believe what happened near the end. I, just... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened. Maybe I'm just fatigued. Maybe I'm just tired. Yeah, they're officially married now. Yeah, I'm gonna relax and recover. Ugh. Gotta take it easy. But, yeah. Well, I mean, we finished it, so, I mean, I finished my Star Wars Dark Forces remaster Friday. And I finished my Let's Play of Red Dead Redemption 2 five years later today. It wasn't the original plan, but, you know, it, it is what it is. It's Jover. It's by Dunn. So, there you go. There won't be another Red Dead Redemption 2 stream. I don't know. If I'm still around in five years and we've still got the channel in five years and the world hasn't ended in five years, maybe, for nostalgia's sake, maybe, ten years later, doubt it. You know, go back and watch it yourself. I'm, I don't want to talk about it. I don't feel like talking about it. I want to move forward. And uh, thanks to the $5 holler, Sinister. Very much appreciated. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're all having a great weekend. I hope you all had a happy thanks, uh, Easter or Passover or whatever you celebrate. But, yeah, I don't know what happened. I got fucked over on the mountain. But, oh well. It happens. I feel like I did better. I know mean, my very first playthrough, I got sniped pretty bad at the beginning of the mountain part but then I feel like I did better afterwards and then my second playthrough went really well this time not so much but yeah y'all can go back and rewatch that I don't want to see it again I want to move forward I'm taking a break from let's place to be honest I have nothing else I want to let's play right now anyways I think I just need to take a break just relax chill work on a few other things uh, at least they're all happy for now, right? Happy for now. Enjoy it while it lasts. Because it won't last forever. See, I think the last I think the last cutscene is what um I think it's Eagle Flies, right? I think that's the last cutscene we see is Eagle Flies, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, still an amazing game five years later. I mean, yeah trash player you know I'm definitely not an epic pro gamer so that's on me I do feel like the game screwed me over by taking away my sniper rifle that was bullshit and then it felt like the enemy was just like started auto aiming my ass or I don't know I just felt like more bullets were flying my way than should have been but meh whatever and then there's Ross all right. Good night, Yuji. I guess they're wondering where the money is. Oh, well. Yeah, so they eventually they find their way to Beecher's Hope. Then you know what happens in Red Dead Redemption 1, at least most of you know. And by the way, um, Red Dead Redemption 1 and Dead Nightmare are currently available on uh, GTA Plus. So if you have GTA Plus and you haven't played Red Dead Redemption 1 or Undead Nightmare, well, there you go. Last cutscene, Ross finding John. Okay, we'll, we'll stick around for that, but then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it after that. I'm just hungry. Fatigued hurting a little like when I rolled over in bed last night I I must have pulled something and it's been hurting all day I've been just trying to power through it it's what happens when you get older you know it's always something but yeah the vlog's up so uh, the March 2024 vlog is up if y'all want to watch it it's just looking at Sadie wearing a dress it just I don't know. It just doesn't seem right, does it? I guess this is Charles 
on his way out the door, heading off to wherever he's meant to go, maybe Canada, maybe he'll find himself a nice woman, start a family like he wanted to do. Now with Sadie, I don't know. I mean, she's... I guess it... Was it happened like right after the wedding? Because... I'm, I'm guessing some. it took some time for Sadie and... And Charles to recover after their injuries on the mountain. So I guess that's what happens. But I'm, yeah, it's a shame we never got like like post game DLC for Charles and a post game DLC for Sadie, or like a like I envisioned kind of like a Cowboys versus Indian. I mean Cowboys versus Aliens. <laughs> I'm an alien. Sorry, I'm canceled. Boo the end anyways like i had this idea for this cowboys versus aliens type dlc maybe one day i'll do a video about it or maybe not i do have a video tomorrow early access for members and then after that i don't know i don't know what i'll do the rest of the week we'll see i have no other plans just real life stuff but yeah I'm just trying to think of some things to talk about while we patiently wait. Oh, yeah, big thank you to everybody. This will be the last stream of March. So, yeah, 10 years later, my channel launched my channel 10 years ago back in March of 2014. We did our 10 years later stream a couple weeks ago. And uh, thanks to everybody that uh, contributed and donated over the past month and all the uh, super chats and the gifted memberships from UG Kane. And there's Mary Beth. Hello, Mary Beth. How you doing? She's a writer now. And uh, thanks to Fern as well for the gift and memberships. I wonder if she ever finds somebody. You think she would find herself somebody? Maybe she does. Hopefully. Maybe she deserves a happy ending. Tilly deserves a happy ending. We know she gets a happy ending. She ends up finding a lawyer and having a family. We really don't know what happens to poor Karen. There's a lot of speculation about Karen. Chances are it probably didn't end so well for Karen. Pearson ends up running a shop in Rhodes. And uh, we get a little closure of Eagle Fly, I mean, uh, Rain's Fall. There's a few interactions you can do as John. I'm not going to do them. I've done them before. Like I said, this is it. This is the end. I'm done with my Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough five years later, but I enjoyed it for the most part. I was I was getting really salty at the end, and for the most part, I haven't gotten too salty during this playthrough. Maybe a couple of small moments of salt, but I just don't know what the hell happened. I've noticed some little issues here and there th during this playthrough. Some weird stuff has happened. So maybe it was just simply when I got killed or something. It just caused the enemies to go OP with the shooting, with the pew-pew. And I felt like I was getting pew-pew too much. To the point where I couldn't properly recover. I don't know. Maybe I'm making excuses. No, I'm not really making excuses because I know I'm a, I'm not the best gamer. Maybe I'm not the worst, but I'm far from the best. Meanwhile, in Valentine. Yeah, now they're they're hanging out here. Following the trail. Yay. A few more cutscenes and we're going to wrap up. But yeah, I'm just unwinding right now. It's relaxing. Just chilling. But I think we had a good point earlier. Like, and... In the epilogue, I think John should have only been able to shoot with one one revolver or one pistol. Because then it would have made more sense and it would have connected better with Red Dead Redemption 1 since he only uses one pistol or revolver. But I guess in the situation in the end, I'm kind of glad I got to use two. Maybe I should just use the M... Uh, what, the M1899s? I should have used those instead, instead of fucking revolvers. You know, I was actually going to get John Lamaze but I, I didn't get around to getting him Lamal revolvers. I was also going to do a part 11 or an episode 11, but we kind of 
kind of kept playing. Kind of, sort of. And now it's over. Oh well. So many people work on these games, it's crazy. It makes you wonder like how many people are working on GTA 6, right? Around the world. Is it the same number of people? Or is there even more people working on GTA 6 than Red Dead Redemption 2? And how many is too many? See, here's Tilly with her husband. You know, she's pregnant. And they already have a kid. I guess, I guess they have a kid and she's pregnant with a second kid. So, you know, good for her. Glad she gets a happy ending. But who else? Am I forgetting somebody? I think that's everybody that survived. I, I guess we don't really find out what happens to Trelawney. We know he has a family in San Denis, so maybe Trelawney bumps into... You know, maybe... You never know. But I, I hope Trelawney gets a happy ending as well. Ah. Uh. Need some food and I need to relax. Probably take another Advil. I don't really like taking pain meds. I did kind of hurt myself last night. It was the stupidest thing. I was just rolling over and all of a sudden I just hurt my side. Hopefully it's nothing permanent. It's the joys of getting older. Like I don't have enough pain issues. But whatever. At least we made it through this playthrough. I swear there was a moment or two. And this happens when you're in a situation like this. You're so close to the end and you're getting screwed over. Or you're just sucking ass or whatever. And you're just parties just thinking, just just rage quit. And I'm like, no, don't rage quit. Don't do that. Just, let's just finish it. We can finish this. Just get out of your system. Riley tells me not to be so salty. But sometimes, sometimes the salt just comes out. You know, I try not to be as salty as I used to be. Yay, meanwhile in Rhodes, one that, see, and there's Pearson. So you can actually go say hi to Pearson in the epilogue if you want. You don't have to. So he looks at the photo of the Vanderlyn gang, fondly remembering them. My question is, do you think he ever finds himself somebody in Rhodes? Maybe. Of all the places, why up in why end up in roads? Oh well. I mean, I would have rather ended up somewhere else than roads. But yeah. Anyone else? Any other character? Well, we know Reverend Swanson ends up in New York as a he ends up getting a church and remarrying and I think having a, a new family. And then Edgar Ross goes for a little fishing trip in Mexico, and uh, it doesn't end well for him. Oh, well, he goes bird hunting. Or, you know what happens to Edgar Ross. He gets exactly what he deserves. Not soon enough. But I don't think there's ever going to be a Red Dead Redemption 3. I mean, there might be a future Red Dead game. I mean, it may even be called Red Dead Redemption 3. Just because they, they like the name so much, even though we've had Red Dead Revolver, Red Dead Redemption 1, Red Dead Redemption 2. But if they, whatever the next, if there is a future Red Dead game, I hope it's in the past and it's not younger Dutch, younger Hosea. I hope it's other characters. Oh, Pearson does have a wife? Okay. Well, we'll take it. We'll take Pearson's word for it. Or maybe he imagines he has a wife or pretends to have a wife. I mean, he, he often embellished here and there. So you gotta hope he finds somebody. And, and these two end up okay. So good for them. You know, the, the Downs family. We saved them. We saved Charlotte. And I, yeah, John could go revisit Charlotte. I'm not doing it. Like, I'm not a 100% person, you know. It, it did happen when I finished a Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster. But I don't really think it takes much to 100% that game. You just have to beat the game. <laughs> so, 
yeah. So I finished that Saturday. I mean, Friday. We finished this today. You know, it's a good way to wrap up March. Tying up them loose ends, so to speak. So I got them loose ends tied that tied up. So yeah. But yeah, I don't think that there should be a... I don't even know if they're going to bother with a future Red Dead game. I mean, especially with how long it's taking. And now Sadie's finally leaving. Is she going to South America? Or is she just going to keep doing what she's doing around the five states? Who knows? It's a mystery. We don't know what happens to Sadie or Charles. Maybe one day we'll get that answer, or maybe we never will. But... When it comes to, uh, like I said, when it comes to the next Red Dead game, I don't think there's going to be a Red Dead game. I mean, look how long it's take, taken them to make GTA 6, and we still are a year out, hopefully, from GTA 6 launching, probably in the fall of 2025. And then GTA 6 Online, they'll be focused on 6 Online. Like, I, I don't even know if we'll ever see it. I mean, there probably will be a game after GTA 6. You'd like to believe that Rockstar wouldn't just milk GTA 6 online for 20 years like they've done GTA 5 online for 10 years but who knows at this point whether or not we get another bully game or another Red Dead game or like a completely new IP by Rockstar that is up in the air that is uh, I guess we'll find out maybe one day who knows I honestly don't have that answer either Hopefully I'm around to see it. Hopefully we're all around to see it. Just got hope for that. But still, you know, amazing game five years later. The only small grievance I have is that Rockstar never bothered making, giving us a 60 FPS upgrade for PS5, Xbox Series X. I mean, I get it, They're, most of their efforts are focused on GTA 6, but they, they could have at least given console a 60 FPS upgrade. But maybe one day. I, my concern is that when they do it, they're just going to have like a, they're just going to sell the game again. And they're just going to sell like a PS5 Xbox Series version. And then those versions will have like, like performance, performance RT, and uh, Rip Arthur. Blessed are those who hunger. Now there's a, yeah, the ex, old Mary Linton. So she manages to eventually find her way up here to, I guess, pay her final respects to Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I mean, despite everything, you know, you also hope that, you know, maybe Mary Lynn finds somebody else. You know, maybe she gets a happy ending. I don't know. I didn't really help her out this time around, except for with her brother. So, whatever. But, yeah. Who knows when we're going to see the next uh, Rockstar game post-GTA 6. Even if, it's a, even if it's like a smaller game, like a sequel, prequel to Bully... I would be happy with, you know, I, I don't think it needs an online experience. And it definitely doesn't need to be as big as Red Dead Redemption 2 or GTA 6, however massive GTA 6 is going to be. But yeah, who knows? I think that the problem is a lot of AAA game studios are falling right now. They're failing miserably for whatever rhyme or reason. And at the moment, you see a lot of independent studios rising up like uh, Helldivers, Power World, a few other games out there that are becoming very, very popular, made by smaller studios, a lot more passionate, just doing their own thing, not spending a decade making a game like Skull and Bones, only for it to bomb. So I think AAA games are in trouble. And maybe post GTA 6, you may not see many games as big as GTA 6 ever again. I mean, there, there probably will be... Oh, yeah, okay, so here it is. You know, I think I, I, think I was right. Because they still have yet to show the Eagle Flies uh, cutscene. So I was right. Yay. That, that'll get me... Uh, 
a whole lot of nothing. whoop de doo See, I do think there's one more cutscene, and that is with Rainsfall. And then I'm done. We're wrapping it up. We're calling it a day. Maybe we'll let our, maybe we'll let John and Abigail have a final moment of, of chattiness, because there's one final scene between them two. Well, at the very end of the cutscene, I can skip ahead. But at least I want to let Rainsfall have a, a scene. And then there's Saint Denis. Ugh. Yeah, Dan Elzer's gone. Unsworth's gone. Laszlo's gone. A few others are gone. Yep. Like, Leslie Benzie's been gone, so... Yeah, he left after GTA V. Like, is his game ever gonna come out? Is the Benz's game ever gonna... Like, what, everywhere? That game's been in development for 5,000 years. Really makes you wonder if that game's ever coming out. And it really makes you wonder if I'm ever gonna be able to go actually eat dinner. That would be nice. <laughs> it's already past six o'clock. My food's probably cold. Where I put all that effort to cook, you know, and she's probably eating already. And I'm just sitting here, looking at some deer, drinking in the in the stream. I wonder how much a tester gets paid. Hey, Rockstar, can I be a tester for GTA 6? Is there still a chance? It does make you wonder how much they get paid. Of course, they probably have to sign like this, this really extensive NDA. And if they say anything about GTA 6 to anybody, like their life is over. Well, Stuart, I think people leave companies all the time you know I'm not going to pass judgment about whether or not GTA 6 is good or bad post Dan Hauser I guess we'll find out uh, why are we getting the coyote like shouldn't we be getting the deer okay but I gave Arthur a good ending See, like, like I said, there's been little issues I've noticed throughout this playthrough. <sighs> Just a few, but that, but like, should we have not seen the coyote? Shouldn't the, I mean, I know we saw some deer a moment ago. Maybe we always see the coyote no matter what. I, I have no idea. I don't remember. But yeah, big props to everybody that that uh, made the game. Most of us have appreciated it. Would have been nice if we would have got a, like a legitimate remake to you know, Red Dead Redemption 1 and Undead Nightmare on the same engine, the same graphics as Red Dead Redemption 2. Would have also been nice if we would have gotten, like like I said, like a, like a DLC focused on Charles or Sadie or something crazy like Cowboys versus Aliens. But it's fine. All right, so I th I thought there was a, a rainsfall scene where he looks up and he sees a bird flying representing Eagle Flies, his son. So I do think I remember that much. But yeah. Is there any games coming out this year y'all are excited about? All right, here we go. Okay, this is it. After this, I'm skipping back to the uh, game. So this is, the, yeah, there I go. All right. Yep, he looks up and he sees an eagle flying. Symbolic of his son. All right. All right, that's good enough. Let's skip ahead to final dialogue. Well, I did, there. Thank you. All right. All right, John Marson. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money. I, uh... I don't want to talk about that money. No more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own. I'm raising your boy. 
Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. <laughs> I love it. It's home. No. Oh. Even Abigail has her moments. All right, I'm going to save the game and then uh, call to do. All right. Man, I went on for six hours. That's insane. Like, what the hell? I wasn't anticipating going on for six hours. So, yeah, I better wrap up. My controller's almost dead, too. So, yay. Anyways, I do appreciate all of you being here today. Thank you so much. Like I said, I wasn't planning on going on for six hours. Maybe I should have stopped, but I, I didn't. Look, UG and, and Belfast wouldn't stop me when they had the chance. So I kind of blame them, but I don't think they're here to defend themselves. So sorry. But yeah, big thank you to all of you for uh, the, the past month. You know, the 10-year anniversary of the channel. All the uh, heroes, all the members. Really does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. And if you enjoy the playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2, be sure and uh, leave a like on your way out the door. And with that, with that out of the way, I'm going to go eat. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, yeah, tomorrow there will be a video. Early access from members will be available for everyone else a few hours later. Uh, big thank you to all my amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods, heroes, as well as the uh, the members. If you want to learn more about the membership program, click the join button. Lots of badges, emojis, rewards, benefits, depending on your tier list on what you get. Like most people, they get shout outs at the beginning of streams included in the description section of live streams. They also get early access to uh, at least one video a week, usually just one video a week. I don't know why I say at least it's pretty much one video a week, <laughs> including tomorrow's video. And you also get included in the about section of the channel, but there's obviously tier lists that each tier gets some stuff, but you can find out more about that in the uh, membership join section. And uh, yeah, thank you once again to all of you that watched and uh, well, have a great week ahead. And uh, as always from me to each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart, as always, Thanks for watching.